Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is the second time I'm trying to record this video. As the first time, I left my TV on. <laughs> it's... Uh, I get picky about things like that, you know, like, uh, if I was watching a YouTube video and I hear TV in the background, I'm like, really? You could just hit the button. Well, that's, I kind of screwed up. So I'm doing this again. I'm going to do a quick update on how the new PC's been going. And it's been going quite well. It's been going slowly, but well. Um, pinky. Um, so, let's just go ahead and get the, uh, good old cover off. Hopefully I don't smudge up the glass again. And let's take a look. The back plate's off, because once again I'm recording this for the second time. Annoyingly. Just go ahead, pop that off. And as you can see, if I can uh, down a little bit. Mess of wires. But, as you can see probably right now, from last time, I now have a motherboard, a CPU, and lots of SATA data cables that I put in here for some reason. Because I'm a genius, that's why. I'm a genius. And if you deny that, then, well, I will find you. And when I do, I will tell you not to do that, because it's kind of mean. Um, so yeah, let's take a little bit of a closer look. So, uh, we've got the motherboard. It's an Asus Maximus something hero. I can't read Roman numerals very well. Get over it. We've got cables. 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 And more cables. Hmm. Um, and if you look up here, I've got a, uh, a, a thingy. A, a disk thingy. A, a disk drive that you can put discs in and download music and stuff. I don't know. What you do with disc, you put games in there and they spin around really fast and explode. Um, we've got CPU. It is an Intel i7. It is a... Tell me box. I have the box right here. Mm, nice box. Um, it's a 4 gigahertz... Uh, it's an i7-4790K processor, 4 gigahertz, 8 megabyte cache. A good processor. Really great processor. It's a quad-core, of course. What else would you put in a gaming computer other than anything but a quad-core? Unless you want to put a 6-core or an 8-core or, you know, something completely ridiculous that you will never use. Uh, SATA data cables. These transmit data quickly to here. The motherboard, right here in this, these, uh, ports down here. Um, I won't be able to fire it up. I'm getting a graphics card that will sit right here. I still need RAM. I still need an SSD. I still need a hard drive. I still need Windows 10. Um, I still need a CPU cooler that can actually do stuff instead of the one that came with the processor. Because the one that came with the processor is, mm, a bit depressing. Let's just keep it at that. Um... Uh, so, that's all I want to show you for the front. we still got our, uh, good old power supply unit. We've got some nice standard, uh, cables. We've got this crappy... Where's that? Where's that? It's right there. Can't see it very well. Maybe if I move my light over here. I'm gonna miss light. Oh, yeah, that's much better. We've got this USB cable, which sucks. It's, it's very bad. It doesn't click into place. It just pushes into place. Um, but it's stayed, I've got it looped around quite nicely, as you can see, jumbles and jumbles of wire, which hopefully will be hidden, hidden, a little bit better, um, whenever it's completed. So, let's take a look at the backside, the rump, if you will, of this computer. Look, wires, surprising, yes, indeed. Uh, we've got these little crappy thin cables that are kind of a mess. So I just took some electrical tape and electrical tape them. Focus. There we go. You can see the electrical tape and all of its kind of makeshift glory. Um, we, you can see the power supply. Um, here we have the power cable for the motherboard. You've got that USB cable that kind of sucked, and I looped it back around, as you do. Um, 
I have all those SATA cables looped back around. Yeah, it's kind of a mess right now, but hey, that's not too bad. It's the back plate. No one's going to be looking at it. It's just there, okay? And it's not that bad, really. It's out of the way. Whenever I put my appliances in, they'll be out of the way. Um, the, it's just going to be nice. Uh, so that's how far along I've come with my new PC. Uh, graphics cards up next, getting the Strix Gaming GTX 980 Ti, which is an amazing graphics card, one of the fastest on the market as of sometime last year. Late last year, not early last year. Oh, maybe mid away. I don't remember! Um, it's gonna be a good PC. I will be able to play Train Simulator at hopefully about 80 FPS whenever I'm not recording, and definitely at 60 FPS whenever I am recording. Um, Euro Truck and American Truck will happen, GTA 5 will happen, although I'm not sure if that will make it to the channel. Um, what else will I be planning to play? Maybe Run 8, I will be playing Trains A New Era, which I have bought, and Trains 12, because it has the Mojave Subdivision by Jointed Rail, which is amazing! By the way, did I mention it was amazing? Absolutely amazing. Um, so... That's it. Um, looking up the future. Remember, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. You know where it's at. I do not have to point and get it wrong. Um, and if you really liked it and would like to see more of it, check out my YouTube channel. And if you want to see the full series, go ahead and subscribe for the videos upcoming of this PC build. Because I will hopefully be covering it step by step. Because it's uh, a nice thing to make a bit. Oh, look, you can see the uh, slug unit on the painting I have over there. Oh, how nice. Um, so that's it for now. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I will see you in the uh, next video. Goodbye.